Hi, uh, it's Annika here. I'm back on YouTube. I have uh, not made a video in a really long time, but I'm on holiday and I really wanted to review this book. It's called The Ravaged Bride's Groom, Masculinity and Women by Marion Woodman. Uh, yeah, also I'm on YouTube because I wanted to unleash my creativity more and find more ways to express myself. Um, I also retrained as a coach, uh, so I'm a life coach. And um, so yeah, I'm kind of trying to put myself out there more and offer my um, expertise. Uh, this is something I made. I bought these for myself because it's almost Valentine's Day. And then um, I made this vase out of a water bottle because yeah, I'm not at home. And um, so I thought that was pretty clever of me. And um, anyway, back to the topic. Uh, this was an amazing read and it's really given me a lot to think about because her thinking is very like process based and partner based it's it's not fixed and restricted so it really gets your mind um it really like like it's a yeah a great read and the other thing i thought was interesting about it she uses like um poems and dreams and personal stories of herself and her clients and mythology to sort of explain uh, like Jungian concepts around uh, the conscious and unconscious. So they, Jungians believe that there's like an unconscious that is, uh, you know, underneath that if we don't pay attention to it, it kind of drives us. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so anyway, so the, like and then a lot of the book is made up of these dreams like that she describes because she believes we all have kind of similar dreams because uh, of this collective unconscious like um, rotten teeth for instance because you bite and chew and gnaw on things and it transforms energy like rotten teeth or teeth falling out comes out for a lot of people in their dreams so yeah so she's looking through these dreams and what she's finding is that there is um an undervaluing of the feminine that has probably been happening for centuries and what happens is we all have those sides of us in ourselves and then if we if we don't value them it's like almost like undervaluing a whole part of us like as women we can undervalue ourselves and you know, it can lead to like self-criticism and self-loathing and self-betrayal. Uh, and then in men, if they deny that feminine side, it can lead to addiction and workaholism and creating kind of a, like a, an identity that's, you know, very perfect and untouchable. And so basically it keeps you very performative and like playing a role whereas like your true self and your true essence is, is is something that combines everything light and dark and feminine and masculine and that's who you really are so to like deny full sides of yourself is really limiting and she sort of advises this process that she calls soul making so it's made through self uh, acceptance and self-knowledge that you can sort of build a self and know yourself more and more so that you're not just kind of falling into these roles like pseudo masculine pseudo feminine and um yeah i mean she believes like if we can do this like there's a chance to live in a lot more harmony with each other and the planet because what happens is we project a lot of these uh you know wounds I guess you could say on people that we know our, our lovers our friends because we haven't like fully dealt with it ourselves or fully like brought it up and faced it on our own so I mean it's a just another way of saying I guess that self-knowledge and uh, working on ourselves and being conscious is uh, you know a really important task and uh, you know will actually lead to a lot more happiness and joy and richness and it may seem more painful in some ways because you're not numb um, you're really feeling everything on both sides so 
uh, I don't know. I just it really got me thinking in a lot of different ways. So I do really recommend it. And um, yeah, I think uh, um, just see if there's anything else I wanted to mention. Um, I mean, there's just so many great things, but this one quote, one of the tragedies of human relationships is that very often one partner cannot respect the sole process of another. So I kind of feel like that's sort of the problem when, you know, we get upset with people, like we forget that they've gone through a whole other set of traumas and you know, something that might just seem very benign to us is actually, you know, very painful for them. So, yeah, knowing ourselves and each other um, can help us live a lot more harmoniously. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like it. And um, yeah, I'm I'm back here and I'm I'm kind of thinking of changing the name because I'm not really like... I don't know, I don't really identify with the beautiful shed-in title as much. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But yeah. And yeah, remember you're beautiful, amazing, and unstoppable. Bye.